Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's your Carnival Director, Prince Lucky. I'd like to welcome everybody aboard the Carnival 420. Now, we got a lot of things in store for y'all today. We got high time bingo at 12 o'clock. We having a smoke out on the Lido deck at 11. Bring your own weed because you know this shit ain't free, you heard me? Bring all your worm runners to deck three. And try not to get your ass in deck zero. Y'all know about deck zero, right? Lately, I've been cruising around the world. Subscribe and you can come into my world. Know you gon' get high with you and me. Go a lot of places you should see. And my rum will I feel that? Got my blood rolled up. Got my bank charged up. You ready? Yeah. Cruising with Prince World. TSA member. YouTube, what's the deal? This your boy Prince Lucky. You watch Cruiser with Prince. If you're brand new to the channel right now, please subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications for every time I drop. You will be the first ones to get it. Smash that like button. Comment some cruise tips I can help you out with in the future. We're going to make sure you have the best vacation, the best cruise, the best flight you possibly can. Stop watching my motherfucking videos and not subscribing. And I'm back. You know what I'm saying? Real quick. I got a lot of people, man. Y'all know I made these videos about Colombia and uh like for black men it's real popular in the in the internet niche that black people are, you know, going to these foreign countries and uh you know, just trying to have a good time. I ain't going to say that they looking for love and looking for wives and all that other stuff. I ain't going to feed into that. I'm just going to say that people are looking to go out the country, uh, especially to Latin America, you know, places like Thailand and stuff like that, you know, the Panama and, and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's a lot of people still curious about that and wondering how that actually works and how that's going down. You know, so... I'm not talking about uh this this shit right here is not for uh I'm gonna just keep it 100. This shit is for black people. This shit is for African Americans in the United States of America. You know uh that's living in urban cities, you know what I'm saying, like myself. You know uh this this video really is for y'all. I can't speak on no other cultures. I can't speak on no other races. Uh, you know, the average uh, African American does not know Spanish, and I'm not gonna get the uh, pulling out statistics. I'm just gonna go off of what I think. And you know, uh, if you want to do statistics and you play them number games and shit, you can look it up. But uh, out of the African Americans that's in the United States, I say probably. Pfft, 95% of their ass only know English. You know, uh, you always got your other 5%, maybe 10, that's, uh, you know, into other cultures and willing to put that work in and study, uh, cultures, religions, and, uh, languages and things of that nature, you know, but the average black person that's growing up in the hood, all they know is English and Ebonics. English and Ebonics. I'm talking about the young black guys that's, uh, I said this before on another, on some other shit too, that's listening to Young Thug, that's listening to Lil Baby, that's listening to NBA Young Boy, Lil Dirk, Migos. I'm talking about urban black people. You know what I'm saying? So they keep wondering. Uh, how is my trip to Colombia going to be? And they ask me a lot of questions because they see me going to Colombia a lot. You know, so I'm not going to, I'm a, this, this video is for somebody that don't got nobody over there. We're going to stick to Colombia right now. This video is for somebody who want to travel to Colombia, has nobody there and is going by themselves and wondering how is it going to be? And I'm not going to go into detail about certain politics and uh things like that y'all can check out my other videos when it come to that you know i'm just gonna say you know speak from a standpoint as if you got a couple of dollars and you about to go somewhere for three four days a weekend or some you know four five days and go out the country by yourself because you want to see what it is and you're not scared to travel on your own uh let's let's get straight into it now by this time i'm sure you heard of all of the rumors and the rhetoric 
of Colombia, especially uh the women and uh the the price of money, how it fluctuates and goes up and down, but the American dollar is like the strongest, you know, and uh you can flip it to a lot of more dollars, you know. So let's go based off that, right? I'm sure you don't uh, I'm sure you don't watch the 100 million YouTube videos and you're ready to go. You got your bag packed. Let's go. Boom. You get in the car. You know, you excited as hell. Damn, I'm about to go to Columbia. Damn, I'm about to go see what everybody talking about. You geeked up. You thinking about all the videos you don't watch. You on your way to the airport. You know, boom. You get to the airport. You know, let's just say you in the Midwest from Chicago. Uh, you probably going to leave from out of Florida. It really don't be straight shots to Columbia. You know, uh, it's a straight shot from Chicago to Panama. You know, but it's usually landing in Miami or Fort Lauderdale, you know, and leaving from there right from florida so you geeked up you get on a plane uh you know that you're doing the international travel you know uh they making you show your birth certificate and your your fucking passport i mean you know at the airport you geeked up you get through the line you sit you wait for your plane Phew, you fly and shit you just you just on 20 right now you just i'm about to go out here and do it big you feel me Boom, you get to Florida, or you can even fill it more. Now you got three more hours until you there. Boom, get on a plane from Florida. As soon as you land, this is how your trip is going to go. Probably. It's probably how your trip going to go if you something like me or from this culture, right? As soon as you get off the plane, you go through customs. You see all these people from the States. They all talking English. Everybody talking through the lines, you know, and, and, and having their little conversations, waiting to get through customs. You show your little passport, they stamp that motherfucker, boom, welcome to Columbia. You're now in Columbia. You know, you're going through the airport, and you finna go through the doors where nobody else can go through. People waiting for their family members and stuff like that out there. Uh, you Before you go even out those doors, you see a bunch of money currency people uh you want to make sure that let's just say you got a thousand dollars we're gonna take 500 of this and we're gonna switch it to their money cop right you switch it now you got these pesos meals whatever you want to call them in your pocket and you got your other little 500 tucked away right now you good you got your american money just in case you know you got your, your pesos boom you walk through there uh taxi you're going to hear a lot of people say, taxi, this way, this way, taxi. Taxi is the only thing that they know. They're not going to be like, how you doing? What, what are you trying to go to? None of that. Taxi? Taxi? What? Taxi? You go. They're going to walk you outside, and somebody going to put you in a taxi. You're going to get in a taxi. He's going to be like, you're going to be like, hi, hi what's up? He's going to be like, hey, 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 because he don't know. What the fuck you talking about? You know, so where we going? I'm going to uh, the rare ass park. I'm going to Cali 10. See, let me see, see, see. Oh, you got to pull out your phone. Show him the address on the phone. You're going to look at the address. Put it in. See, see, see. First time. First time, ain't no couple of things. First time, you be like, yeah, this is my first time, man. I love this shit. They gonna be like, <laughs> keep fucking driving, right? You know what I'm saying? So you geeked up, right? You on your way to your Airbnb. You on your way to the hotel. Boom, you driving through the airport. You see all the little restaurants and from the airport, you know? You looking through to see all the big hills, the dome of fucking Medellin. You like, oh, hell yeah. You getting ready to go through the city. You go through the tunnel and shit. You know, kind of like you going through New York. You know what I'm saying? Going through a couple of tunnels. Then boom, you get out the second tunnel. You really into the city. You be like, oh, man, this is crazy. Then you start getting into the traffic. You see little motorbikes and shit everywhere. Little bitty cars, like smart cars. That's what they be driving mainly. 90% of their ass. Little cars. Reckless driving. You're going to be like, damn. Damn. You probably take your phone and try to, you know, raise down the window and take pictures. He's going to be like, no, 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 no. 
I said, no, 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 no. You be like, man, what you don't know is they don't want you to stick your phone out the window when one of them bikers come by and snatch your goddamn phone. So don't be trying to stick your phone out the window because your phone will become somebody else's property and they're going to ride off and he's not going to chase their ass. So keep your phone and your goddamn in the taxi. You know what I'm saying? You go drive off to the spot, you're going to pay him in pesos. You're going to be like, how much? He's going to point up there. You ain't going to know what the fuck. You're going to be looking at the money like, How many pesos? He gonna say, You're gonna be like, How much? How much? You gonna be like, uh. <laughs> Cause he don't know what the fuck you talking about. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what the fuck he talking about. But eventually you gonna get it. You know what I'm saying? You you show him some money, you probably pull out uh goddamn it. It's gonna cost like a hundred pesos. 80 to 100 pesos to get to town. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you find out how much money they want bef before you get into the cab. You know what I'm saying? So you can already have that money separated. You know what I'm saying? So when you get there, give them the money. Hola. Ciao. Ciao. Don't slam the motherfucking car door. They're going to get on your ass. Don't slam. No taxis in Colombia. No taxis. They don't like that shit. You know what I'm saying? So you go sl close the door. You're going to be sitting in front. You're going to see all these people walking around. You're going to be like, yeah, I'm here. You're going to go check into your Airbnb. Put the little code in. Doop, go through. You're going to be like, ah. Oh. Put your little stuff down. Sit down in your Airbnb like I'm finally here. You're going to turn the TV on. Let's see what they got on TV. Next channel. Next channel. I'm like, damn, dude. You're going to go to Netflix. You're going to look for a movie. And they're going to be like, la, 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 la. you got to figure out how to cut that motherfucker back to fucking English. You know what I'm saying? So you can read. The, yeah, it's really that fucking serious, right? So then you go cut the TV off. Like, man, I'm straight with this, man. You know, uh, damn, I am hungry, man. Them flights, man. Let me go out here and see if I can go get me something to eat. You go go outside. You're going to see all the people walking. Everybody going to be mad in their business. You go go to the little restaurant. You're going to look. And you, when it's time to order, you're going to be like, uh, give me a taco. They're going to be like, you're going to have to start pointing this shit because it's no talking. You understand? We niggas, we don't even know none of this fucking language. None of this shit. All we know is heard is the stories and how exciting it is to be over here. But once you start realizing, once you, they finally put you there and you there. And like you say, you trying to order some food. You're going to be like, give me a cheeseburger with lettuce, tomatoes, onions, and pickles. They're going to be like, so. This is where this happens. You need to keep Google Translate on your phone. You need to be able to type everything that you're saying and then just show them your phone and have it in Spanish. So when they read and they be like, see, sí, see, sí, see. Sí. Get your phone back. You sit back, wait for your food. Oh, smash the food. Oh, man, that was good. All right, man, uh, let me try to go get me a beer or something. Now it's time to go drink it. Go to the liquor store. Uh, what y'all got up in here? That right there, they're going to be like, no, no, that, see, no, no, over, see, no, 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 ha, 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 okay, okay, give your shit, I mean, this is real life, you got to think about this step by step, that this is how your motherfucking trip going to be, you going to realize real fast, that English shit, over with, that shit is over with, you know what I'm saying, get you your little liquor, <coughs> you know, walk around, take some pictures, do some little videos. Oh, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Next thing you know, people going to start running up to you big and they going to know that you not motherfucking from out there. My friend, my friend, my friend, hungry, hungry. You're going to be like, no, they're not going to go away. They're not they're going to follow you. They're not going away. And if you, as soon as you get past one, here come the next person. You gonna, it's gonna build up so much anxiety of people that's constantly pulling up to you, asking you stuff. They got kids and everything in their arm. Please, you go sit down to eat. They gonna be standing right there at the door, looking straight at you. App contact and everything with the little baby. You gonna be like, eating your chicken. You gonna look up. You gonna be like, what the fuck is he looking at? Eat. You gonna try not to even look out. Four minutes later, you gonna look back up. 
That motherfucker gonna still be there, my friend, my friend, my friend. You damn near gonna have to be rude, but don't be rude. I learned to do this, gracias, gracias. That's how you get somebody to go away. Cause if you say no or some other shit, cause they don't understand what you're saying, just say gracias. Stick your thumb up and say gracias and keep walking. You know, and if you is feeling, you know, uh, damn, I got some change. You gonna hand somebody some change? Three, four other motherfuckers just seeing what you did, they gonna run up to you. This is then you're gonna be like, okay, this is too much. Right now, let me just go back in the room and go chill. You know what I'm saying? Drink the rest of your drink. You know what I'm saying? You chilling. You know? Nightlife come around. You in the you in the gringo side of town. This is the gringo side of town, right? You gonna start here. Boom, 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 boom. You, this shit go like at six o'clock from your room. You be sitting in the room. Boom, boom, boom. That's how you know the, the, the it's time, nigga. The nighttime is popping. You know what I'm saying? As soon as you go outside, you're gonna be like, man, let me go to a couple of these bars and see what's up. You know, they got this little square where all the bars is. It's gonna be so many women. <laughs> and for every one man, it's like 10 women. For every one man, there are 10 women. I don't see... Uh, I don't been in the club and it's been like five dudes and like 30 women. You understand what I'm telling you? But I'm going to get to the kicker of that, right? You're going to see women everywhere. The fatness motherfucking women that you have ever seen in your motherfucking life. The fatness BBLs, flat stomachs, fake boobs, long black hair. Pretty Colombian women, shit that you be seeing on rap music videos, the finest women ever that you wouldn't think that you'd be next to possible. All of them hoes gonna be right there for you. Yeah, for you. You gonna be like, you gonna be chilling, you gonna go in the club, you gonna get you a little beer. They don't know what you talk about. Remember, don't nobody know what you talking about. Go get you a little beer and shit. All the women gonna see you. And they're going to just like them people was outside begging. As soon as they see you, they know what time it is. Americano. Oh, hey, papi. Hey, papi. Remember, you're going to be like, what's up, girl? What's your? They're going to be like, hey, papi. That's all they know. Papi, hola, hola, daddy. Batting their eyes, blinking. All the girls, they're going to be tugging at your shirt, trying to grab your hand. Oh, some aggressive shit. You're going to be like, man, what the? Fuck, this bitch is a nine chasing after me like I'm the last man on earth. You want to know why she doing that? Because 90% of them women in that area, let's go to 75%. I don't want to put that all on them. 75% of them people, them women, they all working girls. Every single one of them motherfuckers in the club are working girls. They are there to work. What's a working girl, Prince? A little transactional girl. You're not going to be able to be like, hey, what's your favorite color? What you like doing? Where do you be hanging out at? Where's the cool spots out here? You know what I'm saying? Uh, what kind of foods you be eating? None of that shit. So you're going to be talking, they're going to be looking at you like this. The same way the cab driver and everybody else was looking at you. That's how they're going to look at you. So for the love of me, I can't understand why all these people are telling niggas to go run to these areas and you don't know the motherfucking language. How in the fuck are you finna even talk to people? How? How? And you're gonna realize this shit in the first day. The first day you're gonna be like, oh man. This shit ain't what I thought it was gonna be. And then when you go to the gringo area, you're gonna start to see other foreigners. Then you're gonna start talking to motherfuckers at the end. They're gonna be like, hey bro, where you from? You be like, oh God, finally, thank you. Thank you. I didn't know, I didn't know what the fuck was going on, man. Uh, this your first time in Columbia? Then you start being friends with them motherfuckers and talking to them. But as far as talking to women and talking to other people, dudes and shit, that's over with. You know what I'm saying? That's all the way the fuck over with. Keep your Google Translator ready to go and be ready to do a lot of typing. Then you got to trust motherfuckers to hand motherfuckers your phone just to read what the fuck you trying to say. Then they type back in when they shit what they trying to say. Or most of the people out there already got Google Translator. So they passing phones, people just passing phones back and forth, back and forth. That's how people talk to motherfuckers. Now, 
Is this the most efficient way to talk to somebody? Hell fucking no. After three, four messages, you come by, man, I'm tired of giving you my I'm tired of this shit. Nothing to talk about. Nothing to talk about. All they want, them women, is some motherfucking money. All they want is some motherfucking money. They just want your little $30. That's it. $40, $30. That's it. For the finest women in the whole motherfucking world. Now listen, man. Don't fall into the trick of that, man. I know you ain't come to Columbia for no girls, man. We don't be paying for no pussy, man. So don't be on that shit, man. Just enjoy the scenery. You know what I'm saying? Turn people down. No, no thank you. No th gracias. Remember, always keep your thumb up. Gracias. You're going to be turning down not only homeless people, not only begging people, but girls. Because they're going to be on your ass. Just like begging motherfuckers. Papi. Papi, hola, come with me, papi, datey, datey, papi. You're going to be like, and then you're going to go in the club, and they're going to be playing all that Spanish music. It's going to be with the hip-hop beat. You might be sitting in there, there bobbing your head like, yeah. Then they're going to start playing that rap shit, and it's going to tweak you out because you're going to get to singing that shit, dancing, and getting hype. But wait a minute. None of these motherfuckers know English, but music is it's, it's international, goddammit. You know, uh, we, we vibe with the B. I don't need to know what you're saying. You know, you, you can't stop a good song. A good song gonna always, you know, get you to move. You know, so that's cool. The music thing is cool, you know, uh, but you're not gonna understand none of the music that's playing. You're gonna not understand what nobody talking about. People gonna be talking in groups, looking around. You're gonna be like, man, what the fuck is they saying? That's going to be the most scariest part. When you find out that you in a place and nobody know what the fuck you talk about or you don't know what the fuck they talking about. It's going to bring so much anxiety that it's going to force you back into your hotel room. Then you're going to sit there and you're going to wake up and repeat the fucking process over and over again. I don't care if you're going to, uh, you know, what is that? It's not Cali 10, uh. When you go on the top of the hill, where you can see all the Medellin, it's like a little swap meet up there. Uh, what, what the fuck, payroll was there? I can't think, but it's one of the main places uh, tourists go to. You know, uh, it's a long walk up there. You take a lot of elevators, and you finally get up there, and you can look over the whole Medellin. You know, that's one little thing, you know, but... Then again, you're not going to, I'm, I'm, I'm switching it to going to places outside of the club and outside of your Airbnb. You're going to want to, you know, go to these places. And you're going to find out because I'm sure you don't watch so many YouTube videos. You know what a lot of shit is. But remember, when you jumping in and out these taxis and dealing with all these people, they don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Keep Google Translator on you. But you know what the fucked up part about that shit is? That. Your service probably not going to even be working. So what do that mean? If your service ain't working, how in the fuck can you even type some shit on your phone and press send for it to switch? Now, I know a lot of y'all going to be like, you can put it in offline mode. You bullshitting me. I don't be in about eight, nine times. I ain't I offline mode. No, shorty. You only, no, no. No, your shit already say offline. I'll type some shit in there and press enter. That shit just be spinning, spinning, spinning. If you're not connected to no Wi-Fi, how in the fuck are you finna even type this shit in Google Translator? You see? After the second day, you're gonna be ready to go home. Now, if you in the tricking and shit, if you into these hoes and all that type of shit, you might go to the mall. They got a nice mall out there. Nice, nice. But I need you to remember one thing. You don't know what the fuck nobody's saying. This is the biggest part of this fucking video. This is to debunk all that passport bro shit. All that, all that, let's go to Thailand. Let's go to Brazil shit. You don't know Portuguese. Neither are you going to learn it, nigga, in a week. Or a month, or a year. You got to be dedicated to shit like that. You got to wake up and say, I'm going to practice this language because it is beneficial to me for me to be out there. It's not beneficial to you if you only going to be out there for four days and coming back home. For a black motherfucker, 
I, I will tell you my suggestion is this. Link up with somebody that's already there that's American. Shout out to my boy Passport Dog. He do tours and visits. You know what I'm saying? Book a tour. You need to link up with somebody like that that's going to do that talking for you and show you all the places that you need to go to. Because if you're going out there by yourself, you're not, you you stuck. And motherfucker, take your shit. You jumping in, these, in and out these cabs, don't know the direct, know where you're going and, and know how to tell these people, you're going to be fucked, man. You're going to be, like my man Passport say, a prisoner of Larry Ass Park. Why do I keep mentioning Larry Ass Park? It's because that's where all the gringos is. That's where all the Americanos and different coaches and shit. That's the melting pot. So you better off keeping your ass over there. Because talking to somebody else, that shit is over with. And don't trust them hoes because them hoes will drug you and rob you and take all your shit. And you'll wake up two days later, a day later, not knowing what the fuck happened. They will take your shit and rob you. That pretty face will rob your motherfucking ass blind. You hear me? Be careful out there, man. If there's anything else that you want me to touch up on, put it in the comments, man. But this is the best thing. Like, and all, wait. Make sure you don't spend too much money because it's easy. You can easily lose count of your money. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you put that money to the side to get back to the airport. You know what I'm saying? And remember, the, uh, the ride going to the city. It's always going to be 80 to 100 pesos, but going to the airport, you can finesse one of their ass. Not even finesse. It's, it's cheaper. You know what I'm saying? You make them get them 70,000 pesos, you know, uh, 60, some shit like that, you know, and they'll take you. It's just that fee at the airport. Always keep that money to the side, and uh, it's going to be an experience, but I promise you this. If you from where I'm from in the United States, and you got this skin color like me, and you into all that shit that I was telling you, into our culture, it's gonna be a real drag for you. A real fucking drag. I'm traveling them seas so hard, they call your boy Christopher Columbus. Yeah, call me Princeton for Columbus. Shout out Nassau. Shout out Dominican Republic. Aruba. San Juan. St. Thomas. I smoke dope in Chicago. Roll Mota in Mexico. Call Pedro and we'll let him know. We docking around for you. Cruiser with Prince, man. We snuck in the fist, man. Call me Mr. Carnival. I took over the ship, man.